150 years ago, the city of Melbourne was booming from the gold rush. Money was pouring in and its magnificence was unrivaled in the Southern Hemisphere. There were new and better paid jobs and for the first time in Australia's history, working class people had money to spend. So the time was right when E.W. Cole, a former London pie seller, made his way to the Australian goldfields and found he had a real knack for marketing when he convinced tough Welsh miners to buy his lemonade. Cole had an uncanny gift for sensing what people wanted and how to sell it to them. Within a few years, Cole had built an extraordinary three-storey shopping arcade that was part toy shop, part zoo, part museum, part forest. He sold sweets, ornaments, ran his own printing press, music shop, and all to the catchy tunes of a five-piece band. But the biggest draw card were his books, which were huge business in the days before internet, television and radio. With their newly acquired wealth, people devoured entertainment and knowledge, and Cole imported over a million books. But most importantly, he provided a unique experience where the customer could browse in comfort and read without any pressure to buy. The concept was hugely popular and people flocked there in droves. Cole even printed his own books with his trademark rainbow on every copy. He particularly loved entertaining children with his sparkling sense of fun. But Cole was much more than just a great salesman. He also encouraged people to think more about others around them, to enjoy their company and treat them equally. Through his books and pamphlets, he challenged many of the racist prejudices of the day and he threw a bomb into the calm religious complacency of 19th century Melbourne. E.W. Cole's story spans an incredible period of our country's history, from the early uncouth beginnings to financial boom, bust, and the formation of the Commonwealth of Australia. It's a fascinating look at our past, as seen through one of our most thoughtful, compassionate, and mesmerising entrepreneurs.